Good morning everyone, Jim Giacchetta here from Vitovation. Today we're going to be demonstrating the setup and performance of the Vitolink 5G camera back. It's a 5 gigahertz wireless system that mounts to a uh, consumer or professional camera. We're going to be using a Sony EX3 today with a special sled. Uh, you don't need to have a special sled, but any camera system that has either a V-Lock battery mount, such as this, or an Anton battery mount, uh, can uh, accommodate the Vitolink 5G. So this is how the system comes uh, shipped from the factory. A nice Vitovation box, as you can see in here. Have the full instruction manual. Nice foam packing for safety and preventing damage. We take the units out of their ESD packaging. We have a external DC input. Uh, the system includes two external inline AC to DC power supplies. Uh, each unit includes an on and off switch, a USB port for firmware upgrades, uh, the receiver unit has a HDMI output. Uh, the audio information is embedded in the output HDMI stream. So if you hook a pro monitor or consumer HDMI monitor, you can have uh, video and audio output. We also have uh, broadcast or high-end outputs, HD-SDI outputs, and we have two of them. So you can drive two different monitors or two different sources. If we uh, look at the top of the unit, you see here we have the two RF antenna ports. We have the standard uh, ducktail RF antennas, the 5 dB antennas on the unit. You can see on each side of the unit we have either, uh, this case we have a V-Lock battery mount. Uh, we also have units available with Anton Bauer battery mounts. We have male and female on each side, one on each side. Uh, on the bottom, we have a quarter 20 uh, tripod uh, screw port on it, so you can mount units on top of a tripod, which we will show later today. Then on the back interface side of the VideoLink receiver, we have an IR port. This is to control the unit with the infrared, the included infrared remote. We have a link LED. This tells us if we have a good or solid uh, uh, link, RF link between the transmitter and receiver. Power tells us the unit is actually on. Video tells us that uh, we have a video signal riding over the link. And tally tells us whether or not we have tally information uh, going across the link via the GPI and GPO interfaces on this remote uh, RJ45 connector. So, so let's get the transmitter out. Oh, and then one other thing. This is where our uh, RF antennas connect. We can use uh, little ducktail antennas. I'll get those out in a second that mount here. Or we can use uh, high gain uh, external antennas like these. These are uh, uh, 23 dB uh, external antennas and they come with a 15-foot uh, uh, telescoping uh, stand. So here is the transmitter, very similar to the receiver. You can see here the external DC uh, input port. Uh, the units include an external AC to DC inline power supply. Uh, the units can also be run off of external batteries, but if you don't have batteries, you can run it off of AC. You have your on-off power switch to turn the unit on and off. Uh, USB port for firmware upgrades. You have an HDMI input. This is for a pro or a prosumer camera uh, that has only HDMI output. The audio is input into the unit via the embedded audio in the HDMI. If you have a higher end broadcast type camera with HD-SDI, we have loop through in and out of HD-SDI. Uh, the beauty of having a loop through is that you can have a confidence monitor 
uh, looping out uh, uh, of the input, or you can have, uh, if you have a, uh, um, uh, a confidence monitor mounted on your camera rig, you can drive that monitor with this loop through output. Uh, also, steady cam operators often have a uh, monitor on their rig so they could have uh, uh, the loop through output driving that uh, steady cam confidence monitor. We look on the top, uh, we have the RF antenna ports, and in this case, we have two ducktail type 5 dB antennas. On the bottom, we have a quarter 20. Uh, a tripod mount so we can mount the units on a tripod. Uh, you can also see we have the female and male uh, battery mounts. In this case this is a V-Lock setup. We can have Anton Bauer battery mounts on here if we choose. Uh, they can, it can be ordered as an option. Then on the other I.O. side, on the back side, we have a pairing button. This uh, when you press the pairing button, it, it pairs the transmitter and the receiver units together. The link connection tells you that you've actually paired the units together, that you have a link between the transmitter and receiver. Power indicator tells you you have power on. Video tells you there's video riding across the link. And tally tells us that we're sending GPI, GPO, tally information across the link through these remote RJ45 ports. Uh, you also have an audio input. If the audio is not embedded in the HDSDI stream or the HDMI stream, you could put uh, uh, audio in through this uh, uh, small audio jack, 3.5 uh, millimeter uh, audio jack right here. And then there's a selector switch to tell you whether you're going to use, uh, to set the system uh, and let it know whether you're going to use HDMI input or HDSDI input. As you recall on the other side, we had both HDMI in and HDSDI in, but you need to select which uh, format you're going to use. In our case today, we're going to demo HDSDI, so I have it set to SDI mode. So I, I'm going to show you how to set these up. Well, let me get the rest of the components out of the box. So underneath the foam uh, that holds the, uh, the camera transmit and receiver, you have two power cords. Uh, we're not going to use these today because we're going to run off of battery. Uh, you also have two uh, inline AC to DC power supplies. Again, we're not using these today, but those are included. And then here's your other accessories. So I mentioned the receiver having a little remote control. Uh, you, there's a menu system where you can check the status of the connection. Um, a given receiver can connect to four different sources, so you could have uh, four different transmitters uh, 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 mapped or, or paired with the receiver, and then you can pick which transmitter you want to look at at a given moment. So you can select different transmission feeds. So we'll, we'll, we'll get into some of that, but that the little remote is included. Uh, there's a USB adapter. This is for firmware upgrades. If you uh, need to update the firmware on the unit, you, you need this little adapter. And then, uh, by standard, they include four uh, 5 dB uh, ducktail antennas, as they're called. And typically, in most applications, uh, you would use these antennas on the RF ports. Doesn't matter. They're all the same. Which one goes on the transmitter or receiver doesn't matter. In our demo today, uh, so standard, you would use these antennas on the receiver as well. But in our demo today, uh, actually, we're going we're gonna to do a quick test here in, in the shop. So we're going to use the, the shorter range antennas. Uh, when we do our outside tests, we're going to connect the uh, longer gain antenna, the, the longer range, higher gain antennas. Uh, we're going to use, connect them with these uh, cables here. We would connect this instead to get longer range. And, and we have um, the high gain antennas come in pairs. So you, you, when you buy the high gain antenna kit, you get two, two antennas, two light stands, 
Um, and typically what you do is you mount the receiver on one of the light stands. There's a quarter 20 connection right here on the on the light stand. You can see here quarter 20 to mount the uh, receiver or transmitter. Okay, so let's connect to the camera. Now we're going to set up the Vitolink transmitter with our Sony EX3 camera system. In the case of uh, the Vitolink 5G, you're going to need a camera system that either has a, a V-Lock uh, battery mount or an Anton battery mount, or you could have a, an accessory port where you mount the camera, uh, the transmitter to an accessory shoe uh, on the camera. But in most cases, you're going to take your a Vitolink 5G, in this case with a V-Lock, and mount it to your camera system. So we have our uh, V-Lock battery, our Vitolink 5G transmitter, and our camera with the V-Lock battery plate. We have a cable to connect from the video output of the camera system to the video input of the Vitolink 5G transmitter. Now we will take our V-Lock battery and attach it to the Vitolink 5G transmitter. And you can see here we have a male battery plate and we connect the battery and snap it into place. Then we take uh, this assembly, the transmitter and the battery, and attach it to our camera. Then we need to take the video output of the camera and connect it to the HD-SDI input of the transmitter. Uh, if we were using a, 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 a prosumer camera with an HDMI output, we would have a cable from here to this point. So, so uh, as, I shown, as I've shown earlier, since we're going to be using HD-SDI, we need to have the input mode set to SDI. Uh, you can see the unit, I accidentally had the unit on. You don't want to do that. You can leave the unit off until you're fully set up. So, connect here. Now we're going to take a Vitolink 5G receiver, V-Lock battery, and a small uh, confidence monitor and show you how to connect everything together. So first we want to make sure the unit is off. We connect our V-Lock battery to our male V-Lock port. Then we take the camera receiver, the Vitolink receiver and battery, and connect it to our confidence monitor. And you can see we, we have, everything has a V-Lock uh, plate, everything has V-Lock battery plates on it. We could do a similar setup with Anton Bauer battery plates. You would just need to order your equipment with the proper connectors. Then we take a cable from the video output of the transmitter and connect to the video input of the monitor. So now we have a wireless battery powered confidence monitor. Now that we have our camera and, and Vitolink 5G transmitter and battery set up and we have our monitor with Vitolink 5G receiver and battery set up, we're going to turn them on in sequence. So the first step is to turn the camera system on and the transmitter. It is advantageous to turn the receiver on last. This way, when, when the camera and the transmitter have warmed up, have fully booted up, the receiver then is ready to receive a signal. So we turn this transmitter on first. So the camera is on and our transmitter is on. We can see on the back here that we have a link. It's transmitting. We have power we have video. So this tells us that this transmitter is all ready to go. So now we're going to connect our confidence monitor and Vito Link 5G receiver and battery to our camera transmitter. To review, we have a Vito Link uh, 5G receiver connected to a V-Lock battery, connected to a V-Lock battery plate on a confidence monitor. What we did in the previous step is we connected our transmitter, battery, and camera system 
As you can see, we have a link, we have power, we have video. So this system is transmitting a clean signal. So now what we need to do is turn on our receiver. I'm going to turn on the receiver. You can see that the receiver unit is on, but we do not have a link. So we go back over here to our transmitter, and we're going to hit the pairing button. We, we actually need to hold it for a few seconds. And you will see that this will eventually lock. Oh, we got video and then link. You saw that come on? The video light now is on and the link light is on. Now we will take our monitor out of standby and we have a video transmission. Our camera over here is transmitting uh, a signal uh, uh, of some of our demo product to our confidence monitor with receiver. So we've completed a VidoLink 5G transmission link using the standard 5 dB ducktail antennas on both the transmitter and the receiver. Stay tuned for more Vidovation informational videos.